Now there are some special triangles you need to be familiar with. And what we're going to go over first is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. So this angle is 45 and this angle is 45. Because those two angles are the same, the sides across those angles are also the same, which makes this an isosceles right triangle. Now for the 45, 45, 90 triangle, you need to know these numbers. 1, 1, square root 2. Those are the three sides of the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Now, this is useful because it helps you to evaluate sine and cosine of 45. So sine 45, we can pick any angle. Opposite to that angle is 1, and the hypotenuse is the square root of 2. So sine 45 is 1 divided by the square root of 2. And if you rationalize it, you're going to get this familiar answer. Square root 2 divided by 2, which is on a unit circle. So now you don't need to memorize the values on the unit circle. I mean, you could if you want to, but using this reference triangle, you know what sine 45 is using Sokotoa. Now, if you wish to find cosine of 45, we can do the same thing. So it's going to be the adjacent side, which is 1 over the square root of 2. And then after you rationalize it, you're going to get the square root of 2 over 2. So that's cosine. Now what about tangent of 45 degrees? Tangent is opposite divided by the adjacent side. So tangent is going to be 1 divided by 1, which is 1. So tan 45 is 1. Cosecant and secant 45 will be the same. So let's focus on cosecant. If you want to find cosecant 45, if you know sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosecant is going to be hypotenuse divided by opposite. So it's root 2 over 1 or simply flip this fraction. The square root of 2 over 1 is just the square root of 2. So that's cosecant, which is the same as secant. Cotangent 45. You just got to flip this one. If tangent is opposite over adjacent, cotangent will be adjacent over opposite. So tangent and cotangent are the same. Tangent 45 and cotangent 45, they're both congruent or equal to 1. 